Hello, Cloud Gurus. Data beats intuition. That's how AWS's Vice President of Data and Machine Learning, Swami Siva Subramanian, uh, started his keynote this morning. Hello, I'm Jess, and Matthias and I are on the ground here at reInvent 2022 to bring you up to speed on day three's top announcements. So let's dive in. All right, Swami kicked it off by talking about how we need a future-proof data foundation, one that we don't need to keep re-architecting. He emphasized that without a strategy built for tomorrow, companies will lose their competitive edge. And then he did indeed reiterate that we should let AWS remove the undifferentiated heavy lifting. <laughs> He also called out that we need to weave connective tissue across our organizations and democratize data with tools and education. He also mentioned that data is extremely powerful, and he carried this idea throughout the whole keynote in various poetic ways. In all things, with great power comes great responsibility, and that means security. For example, the new Amazon Guard Duty RDS protection functionality means a stronger understanding of your security stance in the cloud. And the new SageMaker ML governance features will help you take the reins on your machine learning models. These include Amazon SageMaker Role Manager, Amazon SageMaker Model Cards, and Amazon SageMaker Model Dashboard. That is a lot of SageMaker naming. <laughs> Swami also announced Amazon Athena for Apache Spark. Now you can run Apache Spark workloads using Jupyter Notebooks as the interface. You can perform data processing on Athena and use Athena APIs to interact with Spark applications. Shifting gears into zero ETL, that is extract, transform, and load. Amazon Redshift's new auto copy from S3 feature will most definitely help move towards that zero ETL that we know AWS is striving to achieve. And Amazon announced a preview of AWS Glue Data Quality, a tool that automatically measures and monitors your data lake, analyzing your data and gathering statistics. It then recommends data quality rules and you can add your own as well. This can help stop you from polluting your data lake and turning it into a data swamp. <laughs> I love that. Data yeah, swamp. that was a good analogy. <laughs> so good, yeah. Yeah. Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler now supports over 40 data sources. Data Wrangler uses data sources for machine learning that integrate with AppFlow. It's now easier than ever to aggregate data from over 40 third-party SaaS application sources, including Salesforce and Google Analytics. Speaking of AppFlow, Amazon AppFlow announced the release of 22 new data connectors, and now AppFlow supports over 50 applications. This allows you to securely transfer data between SaaS applications in Amazon S3 and Redshift. You can now set up data flows for Facebook ads, MailChimp, Microsoft Teams, and many more. Amazon SageMaker now supports geospatial ML, machine learning. This means building, training, and deploying machine learning models using geospatial data. This includes built-in 3D visualization and neural maps. Check out the demo in the keynote to see this feature in action. Oh, and before we go, I want to call out one more announcement that happened after our coverage for yesterday. It wasn't in the keynote, so it was probably announced in a session. Amazon now has a preview offering of AWS Verified Access, which is a VPN-less way to secure network access to corporate applications. This is to enable zero trust networking, also sometimes called Beyond Corp, and this service seems to be Amazon's answer to Google's identity-aware proxy. We'll drop a link to the blog post. Well, that's a wrap for our day three coverage. Keep tuning in right here for more news as reInvent 2022 continues. And as always, keeping, keeping awesome, awesome, Cloud Gurus. Gurus. <laughs>